up guys, my name is George, aka Gorge George, aka George of the Jungle, aka Curious George, aka what else I got? Handsome as fucking brand. There you go. Uh, Does I'm not here to rhyme? No, no. <laughs> I'm here with Spash, uh, the pride and joy of New Zealand, and he's gonna help me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, cut, cut, cut! And before I put my last one in, all right, I wanna address this group first. All right. I wanna grab four fingers like this, and I actually wanna turn them up. So you see how it turns the ghee material like this, and it locks my fingers in place. If I just have my fingers like this, it's a lot easier to strip that grip and hold on to. So when I grab, I grab and I immediately turn. So this- it Feels like it locks my hand in place too. It does, it locks his hand in place and it locks my fingers in there. It might break your fingers, but fuck it, okay? If you're trying to win, you gotta hold on, all right, uh, forever. So uh, lock the fingers in, all right? And then now, before I still haven't put the foot in yet, I wanna get this hand to touch my pec. So I got a high elbow and get his hand up here, all right? Boom. This makes it so that when I put my lasso in, I can have my knuckles touching the back of my leg. And when he goes to circle out, he can't, he's locked in, okay? If I do it the normal way, where maybe his hand's here, and I have a good grip and everything, and I put my foot in, he can immediately circle out, okay? Or I get into this battle where I'm pulling and he's pulling, okay? And it's gonna tire you out, your grip is gonna get tired. So. Instead, when you're in your collar sleeve, lock, turn, lock your fingers in, and pull that. So look at my elbow, my elbow's high. So I don't want to connect it on here, I want it flared out. Okay, the more flared out it is, the easier it is to get his hand up higher. All right, boom, flare out. If he's grabbing, a lot of times he might grab the belt, you're just gonna have to strip it, okay? So I come here, and I pull, I strip that grip. As soon as my, or his hand is touching my chest, now I can pull my lasso in, okay? When we put our hook in, it's gonna be a shallow hook. So I don't actually wanna put my foot all the way through. This is gonna limit your mobility and your ability to attack. So I always wanna stick with a shallow lasso. And I'm just getting my toes in his armpit, right? And my ankle is just resting on his bicep. So the key markers I'm looking for before I start attacking the shooting sweeps is, are my knuckles touching my leg, okay? Is my elbow flared up high? Are my toes in his armpit, okay? And can I pull? pressure with my shin on his bicep, okay? If all these things are correct, then I can start moving forward into all of our sweeps and attacks. So even if he stands up here, he starts pulling me around, okay? He can just drag me all the way around with one hand. And I could do this all day because I'm not actually using any muscle to hold onto this. My fingers are just locked in and then my knuckle is locked behind my leg. So it's my hips and my legs versus just his lat, his pulling motion. So if he continues to pull me around, I can just hold on to this forever, okay? I'm not even wasting any energy getting tired. I'm tired, okay? He's gonna get tired, but you're not. All right guys, so that was just the grip. And then uh, now we can go into all the attacks once you have like a really, really solid grip. Cool. Once you've established a good grip, boom, knuckles behind the thigh, the other leg here, Okay, it's gonna be in half guard. Turn and see. All right, half guard, and I'm gonna take my foot. I'm gonna use that to hook his shin. Okay, keeping the shallow lasso, keeping the good grip here. The other hand is just gonna hold his sleeve up here. Okay, for the first one, if they're just kind of hunkering down, all right, they're not really doing anything. I got my lasso. I got my half guard. What we're gonna do now is turn both knees all the way to the opposite side here get him to fall down. As soon as he hits the mat, I let go of the sleeve and I grab a leg here, okay? When I go to come up, I kick back, I go to club the head and I start driving forward, all right? The key to finishing the sweep is to not let go of the pant leg until you finish the sweep. So my lasso, half guard. I hook the shin, have my lasso hook, and now I'm just taking both knees and I'm pointing them that way, all right? Once he hits the mat, I grab his pant leg and I'm just driving up, okay? If I try to come up here and I let go of his pant leg too soon, I get greedy, he can wrestle up, okay? You can make your life a lot harder. So instead, as soon as you sweep him over and knock him down, just hold this and punch. As long as you have this punched out, 
you're gonna win. So I punch this out, I go to club. Even if you start to wrestle up on me here, I just keep it punched out. So you solidify the position and then you're good. No way I can get up. The, the reason the sweep is really powerful is because, so this foot here, it's really important that it hooks his ankle. So when I go to sweep him, he can't base off of that foot. If I have a normal half guard and I go to sweep him here, he can move that shin, okay? It's gonna windshield wiper and give him his base. So I'm hooking this foot. So you can see now there's no base here. So that's where his ass is gonna go right here. So I turn, see, he brings his shin in. So his shin ends up over here and I can grab the pant leg. I can just start to finish the, the sweep here. Half guard. Lasso, again, really, really simple. We're just taking both knees and we're trying to make them face the other way here. And then we're coming up. This leg is usually the one I get, but if for whatever reason you can't, it's okay to grab the bottom leg too. It doesn't really matter. As long as you control a pant leg and we're driving forward, okay? If you control a pant leg from this position here, he can't wrestle up, he can't stand up if you have a pant leg. So as long as you have a pant leg, you're good. Just keep fighting through the position. Either this pant leg or the bottom one, okay? Time a little bit faster. So, last sweep, okay? I'm trying to get my half guard. He comes back. As soon as he falls back, I'm already starting my inversion. So he falls back, my leg here, comes back, and I just roll into my shoulder. Nice and easy, okay? Remember, as you're doing your roll, your elbow should be up high and flared. See how it pulls his arm? It keeps that pressure. I rotate all the way through. As I do, I lock up my umoplata, I reach and I grab his pants. Now, with your umoplata locked, all you're doing is kicking the mat here. And I'm pulling this over for the sweep. Boom. Once I'm here, don't let go of the pant leg, okay? If you do, he's gonna wrestle up on you. So hold on to this no matter what. Even if he tries to wrestle up on me, he can't. And I just come on top. One more time. Got my good lasso. I shoot for the half guard. He spalls back, denies it. So I immediately, as soon as I reach, I pump back, rotate, lock, little plow grip, I punch, and I hold on to the pant leg. As long as you do this, you, you're gonna win. So he tries to wrestle up with me, and I just cover. Time a little bit faster, go here, shoot, 